UI Scuti is a bright red supergent or hypergent pulsating variable star in the constellation Scutum. It is currently the largest known star at most likelihood, and is one of the most luminous and best known of its kind. It has the average median radius of 1,708 solar radii, or a diameter of 2,378,704,272 km. Thus a volume 4,982,686,912 times that of the Sun. It is approximately 9,140 light-years from Earth, making it one of the nearest known hypergents. If placed at the center of the solar system, its photosphere would engulf the orbit of Jupiter, although the radius is poorly known and may be larger than the orbit of Saturn. Observations, the star's name, UI Scuti, indicates that it was the 38th variable star discovered in the constellation Scutum. It is located a few degrees north of the A-type naked eye star Gamma Scuti. Although the star is very luminous it is, at its brightest, only 11th magnitude is viewed from Earth, due to its distance and location in the zone of avoidance, within the Cygnus Rift. It can be seen in large binoculars or a small telescope, but were it not for the dust extinction, the star would be a fifth magnitude naked eye object. Characteristics The star is classified as a semi-regular variable with the approximate pulsation period of 740 days. Visually the star is about 120,000 times brighter than the Sun in visible light. However, when combined with its light in infrared it is about 340,000 times brighter than the Sun making it one of the most luminous cool supergent stars, and one of the most luminous stars in the galaxy. It also has the mass loss rate of 5.8 a, 10 of 5 ma per mil per year, one of the highest known for any star. Although it is an extremely large and luminous star showing broad emission lines in its spectrum, some cited sources of its spectral type shows that it is of intermediate luminosity at minimum brightness, making the classification of the star as a hypergent or a bright supergent potentially unclear. Size Like other supergent stars, UI Scuti is surrounded by a large circumstellar disk and like other large diffuse stars is plagued by phenomena that make them difficult to measure with precision. It is not entirely spherical, but being surrounded by opaque shells of a highly extended atmosphere, which, coupled with limb darkening, unstable luminosity, high mass loss rate, and other factors, make it difficult to determine its true size. Toros et al. gave UI Scuti's radius at 1708 to plus or minus 192 solar radii, making it one of the largest known stars, but this measurement is based through indirect methods of calculation of the star's temperature and luminosity. The definition of the boundary of such stars is based on the Rosalind radius, the location at which the optical depth is 1. In the case of UI Scuti, the radius is not clearly defined and may be on a different value at a different wavelength. UI Scuti's size alone makes it very intriguing and very complex. Strictly speaking, the star is a very large and very luminous red supergent. The largest estimate of the star's size fall outside the bounds of the stellar evolutionary theory, that is, beyond the expected size of a star of its temperature and luminosity. Stars like UI Scuti are extremely rare occurring, perhaps only one in a cube 1,500 light-years on a side, or only a few dozen similar stars in our galaxy. Consequently, they have yet to be studied properly. Mass UI Scuti's mass is also uncertain, primarily because it has no visible companion star in which its mass can be measured through orbital measurements. Stellar evolutionary models conclude that the initial mass of a star reaching the red supergent stage like UI Scuti would be no more than 25 to 50 times the Sun, and would have been lower this time. Environment Its location within the Scutum Centaurus arm suggests that this star may be a member of the Sagittarius OB5 Association, a massive grouping of stars 7,800 light years from Earth in the direction of the galactic center. The Stellar Association is one of the largest known in our galaxy, next only to Cygnus OB2. SGR OB5 also includes KW Sagittaria, a red supergent and another of the largest stars known, and the Stuta 15 to Stuta 20 complex of H2 regions, 
massive nebulae which triggers intense star formation. Because of its position on the outskirts of SGROB5, the effects of the star on its stellar environment are limited to regions away from the other hot luminous stars of the association. Fate UI Scuti's large distance from the Stuta 15 to Stuta 20 complex of H2 regions, in addition to its location within the Hertzsprung Euro Russell diagram and its severe mass loss, shows it to be an old dying star that left the main sequence a few million years ago. Its exact future is unclear but will almost certainly involve a supernova explosion. Stars of its size, luminosity, and mass do not appear to explode while they are red supergents. They evolve instead back to higher temperatures as they lose mass. Current models of stellar evolution do not properly predict the proportion of massive star types or the progenitors of different types of supernovae, and observations do not show sufficient mass loss to account for the observed stars. Depending on the exact rate of mass loss, it will explode as a core collapse supernova at the yellow hypergent, luminous blue variable, or wolf ray at stage. If it cannot lose sufficient mass before exploding, it will leave behind a black hole, otherwise a neutron star will remain. See also, NML Cygni, VY Canis Majoris, KW Sagittaria, AH Scorper, References